Good afternoon, or evening now as it is. Hello friends, followers, channel members, welcome to our iconic journey Sunday night flight where we sit back, relax, enjoy the beautiful scenery, scenery of the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator world and basically just have a relaxing end to our week. So welcome if you are new and if you are not new then great to see you all again. Hello to those of you already in the chat. Alan, thank you so much for your uh, congratulations. Uh, Mark as well. Dark, Dark Fury, yeah, the livery is back, hopefully without any purple radio stack as well. Uh, hello to Arky, John Hay, uh, Air Gandhi, uh, Boasted, hello to you as well. Uh, Air Gandhi, fairly new to the channel and community, uh, but we've managed to teach you lots through the videos, so uh, excited to see some forward VFR. Well, Air Gandhi, you're, uh, you're going to like this, and of course you can join us as well if uh, if you're able to. Uh, we are on the North Europe server, and there's no real flying going to be done tonight. Uh, no real world procedural flying, anyway. It literally is a takeoff and uh, follow the I-95 south as far as we can for uh, for the next hour or, uh, or so. Simple takeoffs, hello. Hoping, hoping you are well. Um, so simple takeoffs. You uh, open YouTube, hoping to keep back with one of the streams, and here we are. Oh well, it was serendipity for you. Simple takeoffs, indeed. Here we are. I must apologise. I am a little bit under the weather this uh, this evening. Not feeling top of the game, but uh, we reached twenty one thousand subscribers today. So I thought it was worthy of a stream this evening to say a big thank you to all you guys who have helped us reach that milestone. Um, we haven't even had a chance yet to do the um, major celebration flight for the. 20,000 uh, subscribers we got a while back and that is just because it's been a very hectic month for me personally. I am in the stages of planning something, a full day stream, like we did when we had 10,000 subscribers. It's basically going to be hopefully another day in the life kind of thing with giveaways and it'll be a full day streaming as well as long as the uh, the simulator and PC hold out, so fingers crossed. Uh, more information on that when I've got further details. Uh, LA Kids, good afternoon to you. Danny, hello, and Arthur, good to see you as uh, as well. Uh, Jay Hog, what have you been buying now? Why are you skint? You're not allowed to be skint. Uh, it's Mother's Day as well today here in the UK. I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but uh, happy Mother's Day to any mothers who may be watching or allowing their children to watch. So, without further ado, let's have a look at what we're going to be uh, doing just for the takeoff. So, if you recall, we are uh, in NASA land. Uh, we are parked just uh, just here. We're going to take off uh, in. Actual fact, Joe. So we're, we're going to take off runway uh, one three. Is that yeah? Take off runway one three. Straight out take off. Then we'll make a left. We're going to come back up the coastal line, and then we're going to follow this. Uh, I was looking for the name of a bridge here. It looks more like a path, doesn't it? Uh, oh no, it is. It's the NASA Parkway East. Good name. We're going to follow the NASA Parkway East, and that will take us all the way across past the Kennedy Space Center's visitor complex and then this will meet us back up as we go via the Space Coast Regional Airport and from there we should be able to pick up the I-95 and we'll continue heading down um, heading down south. So, it so all sounds straightforward, doesn't it? Uh, Drini, hello mate. Uh, sadly you're sick because so he can't stop. I, I Feel your uh, feel your pain, Drini. My head is just full of a head cold. At least that's what I hope it is. <laughs> uh, anyway, should we get on board? Let's get those engines started. As I said, no real world procedures today. Oh, Dark Fury, what have you done? Oh, mate, I can't fly like that, can I? <laughs> uh, yeah, the livery is back. So my radio is looking absolutely beautiful. Um, that, on the other hand, is an absolute Mickey take. <laughs> it looks like someone stuck some purple cardboard to my propeller. Um, right. Let me quickly restart this. I mean, this will take 30 seconds to restart because uh, it's all cached in and loaded in. So let me just uh, quickly head out to the main menu, change the aircraft, <laughs> and we'll be back in a second. <laughs> what a great way to start the stream. Nick Burrows, good evening to you. Hope you're well. Uh, right, let me just jump back in on the uh, departure point. Change the livery. We'll go back for our uh, backup orange livery, shall we? 
And we'll be back in in a second. Yeah, we'll blame, blame Dark, Dark Fury for that one. When you redid the uh, livery dog, did you add start the engines to test it? <laughs> oh, it's not the first time that's happened, is it? I recall that happening a few episodes ago. What episode is this? Is this episode 16? Something like that. This is the 16th week we've done this. Right. Shall we try again? Where is everybody? Hopefully everyone that was there a moment ago will uh, spawn back in. In, uh, in a second. Oh, here we go. Everyone's coming in now. Right, there we are. I can start the engines, f f fire that propeller up, and I can actually see where we're going. Lovely. So, quick start. Parking brake is released. Let's uh, chuck some flaps down, and we'll taxi our way to the uh, to the runway. Gonna be taking off with a bit of a tailwind today, but never mind. As I said earlier, we're not doing anything realistic on the flight like this. Uh, Danny, just a quick question. You're quite desperate because you've tried almost everything. Tried to buy um, Madrid, which is on sale in the market store, but it says purchase pending and purchase failed for two weeks now. Oh, that's uh, interesting. You can't buy anything. <laughs> well, that's good for the uh, good for the pockets, at least, isn't it? Not quite sure what's going on there. I tend not to get much through the marketplace. Usually, I buy it through uh, the developers' own stores. Having said that, they've got a great offer at the moment, haven't they? Everything purchased through the marketplace at the moment. I think is it something like five dollars is going to the Ukraine um, a charity help in uh, in Ukraine. So, a very, very worthwhile cause. Uh, let me just get rid of the uh, boarding soon text. Thank you, Dark. There we are. Right, let's... Uh, let's get airborne, shall we? I did a little, get a little concerned as well when loading in for the flight tonight. And I saw that it looked like thunderstorms on the weather uh, icon on the map loading screen. Thankfully it looks far from it, so live weather once again looking really nice. I can certainly feel that uh, that wind gusting behind us. So we shall get ourselves up to around about 1800 feet for our nice low level flying. Uh, again, your Thrustmaster captain's pack from Airbus arrived uh, from Airbus from Thrustmaster rather arrived today. You're excited to uh, excited to try it tomorrow. It is such a fantastic piece of kit. You are going to love it. Right, let's get ourselves over to uh, the NASA East Bridge or whatever it was called. As we can see at the moment, we've got the Atlantic Ocean just out to the rear, to the right of us, and there it is. There's our uh, there's our landmark. And of course, we can see the Kennedy Space Center over in the uh, in the distance. Thousand feet or so to go, and that'll be a nice, nice altitude for us to uh, to cruise at. See what we can see. Is anybody playing uh, Iconic Journeys Bingo tonight? Always high on the list. We've had churches, McDonald's, Walmart. I think golf clubs has become a new one, hasn't it? Since we uh, entered Florida.
once we've uh, got our aircraft trimmed nicely at around, around the uh, 2,000 feet mark, we'll switch to an external view so we can uh, enjoy. Just looking at the water down there, it looks rather uh, rather ripply, doesn't it? It's not, certainly not smooth. As you can tell by the buffeting of the aircraft, I hope, don't know if you can see that, but basically it's a little bit of a fight to keep it nice and level. So that looks good. We'll look to start levelling off in a second. I think we're now following the planned path, and we can see the uh, we can see the Kennedy Space Center, and we can also see the NASA landing strip as well, just ahead of us. Information Alpha, good uh, good evening to you. So just trim our aircraft there, hold that nicely, and uh, we shall have a look outside, see what we can see. Loving those water reflections, of course. Yeah, so there's the NASA Space Center in the uh, in the distance, in the landing strip. So we're going to follow this along, and as we pass the uh, Kennedy Visitor Center complex, which I think is just here, the I-95 is back over here. Uh, Simple Takeoffs asks, how do you get rid of the screen indications in the, ex uh, uh, in the external view, SB, and etc.? So I think that's in the accessibility options, if memory serves. Okay, TM, good evening to you. Hope you're well. Looks like we're climbing again. Let me just check that. And we are climbing ever so slightly, so I'm just going to trim that down a little bit. Don't want to get too high. That's the whole point of these flights. We love to go low and slow. That's a nice shot of uh, NASA just there, isn't it? I wonder if Zobo have got any sort of plans to implement any special Easter eggs. Whenever there's a space uh, a, a space shuttle coming back in to land, so to speak, you could be be here and and see it. If you had AI aircraft turned on, that would be uh, that would be something, wouldn't it? So I think this is the visitor center down uh, down here. Yeah, and you've got the Kennedy Space Center just there, obviously. There really is nothing much else to this part of Florida. It is indeed very, very green though, isn't it? Thousands of trees. There we go. There you can see the visitor centre down there. Complete with various rockets. So it was a place that's fascinated me. I wonder... Uh, is that the Space Shuttle Atlantis I can see? I always wonder how much it actually uh, costs to get there. Go in there. That's pretty neat. Uh, Nick, is it called the external uh, heads-up display, HUD? Something to look out for if you're trying to uh, trying to get rid of that. So this is the NASA Causeway Bridge coming up. And for anyone that wants to join us then, you can just see that is the Space Coast Regional Airport. Let's check our altitude again. 
We're getting higher and higher, aren't we? Uh, Nick, I did download the scenery, yes. Uh, free scenery from FlightSim.to to add things like the uh, the visitor centre and, uh, and whatnot. It's most certainly not default. Pascal, hello. Happy Sunday. Hope you're well. Mark, you're hoping to do the uh, Florida uh, year after the next. So what's that? 2024. Putting NASA on the uh, on the to-do list. Pascal, we're on the North Europe server, as always. Do you know, I thought we looked a little bit higher. I've just uh, set the altimeter correct. Closer to 3,000 feet now. So if we fly almost a beam, you can see it's it's no longer a runway, but you can see there's an old runway just there. If we sort of fly, uh, head towards this, and f fly across the uh, Space Coast Regional Airport, then we should meet up quite neatly with the I-95 junction. And this part of the world's got some beautiful satellite imagery, so all will look Good, clean, and great scenery. And track, good evening to you. Now, I'm guessing the Space Coast Regional Airport is, uh, isn't an airport that has sort of commercial flights. I'm guessing it's some sort of private airport. Oh, Mark, that's really frustrating. Last time you were there, there was supposed to be a launch, but thunderstorms cancelled it. Uh, it's not like you can just pop back and uh, the next time they launch it, can you? So which company in America has lots of green trucks, as I can see down there? Can't see any live traffic planes down there anyway. We do have live traffic turned on as well, so we may see some live commercial traffic as we fly today. Yanis, hello to you. Right, so here goes. We should be looking to see the um, I-95. In fact, there it is. You can see there's the I-95. There's the junction I was aiming for. In fact, that's not the junction. The junction's there, just a little further uh, further north. But yeah, that's the junction. And we've got, uh, looks like a line of pylons, actually, that I can see. Uh, Wally, we're we getting down towards your neck of the woods now. <laughs> All right, well, let's begin the bank. Right, let's uh, continue. We're back on the I-95. There it is. And Yanis, oh, Yanis, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the First Officers Club, Yanis. Really do appreciate your uh, your support. And if you're on our Discord server, then uh, make sure you uh, get yourself access to our uh, members' lounge as as well. So, this is really nice. There's a place here called the 100 Acre Wood, for anybody that's familiar with Winnie the Pooh. I don't know if they are related in the uh, slightest. I doubt it. But 100 Acre Woods is apparently what that's called. We've got the Parkway Animal Hospital. That little, um, that little green building there is a, apparently an animal hospital. Uh, 
Uh, Nick says congratulations on 21,000 subs, by the way. Thank you very much, Nick. We really do need to get on all guys the uh, <laughs> organize the 20k uh, subscribers special stream. It's been a manic month. I'm very interested in this little. Uh, th there's a place. Literally, I'm following Google Maps. There's a place down here called uh, Dare to Care Rescue Incorporated, <laughs> which uh, which sounds fun. I'm guessing it looks like it's in the middle of a housing state down here. I'm guessing that's not a major international company. Richard, hello. Welcome uh, on board our VFR flight tonight. I was just about to say all the cars are on the wrong side of the road and then I remembered where we were. So, yes, of course there are cars are on the wrong side of the road if you live in the UK. Hey, Gandhi, welcome to the Captain's Club. Uh, Gandhi, thank you so much for your uh, for your support. And uh, wow, the traffic looks good on this uh, this intersection. And hey, Gandhi, in the Captain's Club, remember you uh, will now be able to access the beta version of SimSmart, the A320 performance uh, takeoff calculator, which should be released later this week. Um, but hey, Gandhi, you uh, get on our Discord server in the VIP room. You will have our early access to that. Um, so yeah, thank you, uh, thank you so much. Really, really do uh, do appreciate that. Uh, Dark Fury, you fixed the livery already. <laughs> really, that, that was quick. I'm just looking here. We've got uh, the Bevard County disposable disposal facility and Aria Energy. Okay, not quite sure how they get their energy. Is that uh, an incinerator plant, perhaps? Dawson, good evening from South Africa. Wow, I love hearing where people are from during our uh, during our live streams. So, Adamson Creek is uh, is beneath us now. And I do love flying over parts of the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator world where they've obviously got really good satellite imagery because all the textures are beautiful, crisp, and incredibly realistic and lifelike. I'm guessing we've got some sort of park or school uh, coming up. This is the uh, the Launchpad Sports Complex. What a name, considering we've just left NASA land. Uh, the Launchpad Sports Complex down there. Uh, Yanis, have I flown to Greece in Microsoft Flight 2020? Yeah, a few times. A few of the Greek islands and Athens quite a few times as well. Uh, Danny, are my trees and grass... Um, bush settings on ultra, by the way. No, I think they're only on. In fact, they may even only be on high. Bear in mind, though, I have got the uh, Rex AccuSeasons mod, and that adds so so much. It um, it really does add a lot. So don't really need them uh, to be set too high. Uh, Patrice, hello from France. Bonsoir. We've also got the Coco Moon Trailer Park, apparently just over here to our uh, our left. We can see that. But yeah, even the grass textures look look pretty, don't they? Down there. Just having a quick look at the horizon. Look at the weather we've got for you tonight. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. This is live weather as well, remember. This is all live weather tonight. So, cutting through this sort of barren little part of uh, the land. No commercial build-up. But we're about to enter uh, a much more built-up area. We've got uh, the uh, Tuxway Lakes Estate coming up. We've got Summer Lakes. Which I'm guessing we'll see all of those in great detail in a moment. Everything in, uh, in America, in the USA, 
But the way that everything's built is so very... Uh, almost looks regimental, doesn't it, from the air. Everything's in blocks. Everything's almost straight and at right angles, the streets. Um, here in the UK, I think they just throw darts at a piece of paper and just try and join them up when they're uh, planning estates and things. So as we're coming in now, we've got the Truxway Lakes Escape Estate is uh, is just behind us. Golf course down there, look, there we go. That's the first one of the stream. Certainly won't be the last. I mean, this looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? Imagine your house backing onto all these little lakes. I mean, this is a fisherman's dream if you like fishing. I don't know if you're allowed to fish in them, or indeed if there is any pond life in there, but I'm imagining if there is, how beautiful must it be to live here? In fact, that almost looks like you're living on a golf course, unless this is some sort of holiday complex, which I'm guessing not. If it is, it puts butlins to shame. Uh, okay, TM, yeah, it looks like Sim City. <laughs> I remember that. Particularly the first ones that came out, and everything literally was in blocks, wasn't it? Uh, so we're just coming up to uh, Cross Creek here on the on the left down there. And then after that we've got the Six Mile Creek. Everything is creek. <laughs> Nick. Oh, always the pessimist, Nick. Alligators dream more like. <laughs> so we've got a big commercial centre here on the right that you can see the uh, Avenue Vera, I think it is, and the Lake Andrew Commercial Centre. I haven't seen a McDonald's yet. There has to be one if I... Uh, oh, there's Burger King. Do you know what? Actually, it, that might be the first Burger King I've seen on stream. That Burger King is uh, is down here, I think. Next to the Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. I'm almost certain that's the first Burger King we've seen. There's the Rivard Zoo Linear Park down here as well. Is that actually a zoo, or is it just the name they've been given to uh, to the complex? This really does look like a beautiful place to live, but very expensive. Very expensive. I'm not really up on my uh, USA real estate. Oh, Frank Abbott, good evening, sir. Hope you're well. Yeah, you just managed to catch us. Now, not quite sure what all of this is over here. It's something by the uh, the Lenar company. The uh, WCI at Bridgewater. Is that like a water treatment plant or something? Uh, Nicholas, no, we're not on VATSIM. Good evening to you, by the way. No, we're not on VATSIM. Sunday night is a night to sit, chill, and do everything wrong, and just enjoy the pretty sights. Uh, well, it's land built up from swamps to make neighbourhoods. Yeah, that doesn't sound quite as appealing as I was making it sound. But it is just... The thought of just on a nice summer's day being able to throw your back doors open, sit on a deck, looking over uh, a nice lake with a glass of wine. Sounds good to me. Unfortunately, the kids had ruined that. What is, of course, really, really impressive is that all of these little bodies of water that I'm seeing on Google Maps are right here in the sim, in exactly the right place. Hussan, what's the estimated time of travel? We normally fly for about an hour on a Sunday, uh, on a Sunday evening. Look at all these HGVs trying to overtake each other. Typical. Slowing the rest of us down. 
Over to the left, then, that you can see, that is the uh, the Indian River. And then we've got... Uh, which airport is, uh, is that, that I can see? There's definitely an airport there, isn't there? And have a look now on Google Maps to try and find it. You would have thought an airport would have stuck out like a sore thumb, but I'm actually struggling to uh, to see that. Uh, oh, there it is! It's oh, it's Melbourne, Melbourne, Orlando. It's Orlando International Airport. Should we go on bus Orlando International then, guys? We should have some uh, live traffic, I would imagine, at Orlando. Yeah, why not? So if anyone wants to join us, we're going to buzz Orlando uh, International Airport, spawn in there on the uh, North Europe server, take off, come and join us. Now, Orlando International Airport is the airport which I was going to say the low-cost carriers fly to from the UK. Now, obviously, low-cost carriers and international travel to America from the UK don't go hand-in-hand, hand, but they're sort of like the package holiday companies, things like uh, like TUI. And we used to have low-cost um, low cost international carriers, like I think it was XL Aviation. They've gone by the wayside now. But instead of flying into Miami International, they'd fly to Orlando. Um, Danny, is this not the major Orlando? Is this just... Uh, well, this is Melbourne, Orlando, isn't it? Are we not down s far enough south for that? Oh, I, I, ignore me then, guys. I'm talking rubbish. We're buzzing the wrong airport. But if anyone does want to uh, come and join us, then Melbourne, Orlando International Airport is the... Uh, Here's the one we're currently flying over. And I'll tell you what we'll do. Should we fly down the coastline for, uh, for a little bit? We'll fly down the coastline for a little bit, and then we'll rejoin the I-95. Uh, well, he says the Melbourne airport is low cost. It's 60 miles east of Orlando. Yeah, and that's what all the low cost carriers do, isn't it? They go to the airport that's not right in the heart and center of the destination, and it usually takes a good hour or so once you've landed to get anywhere near. Now, there is a old, what looks to be an old, disused um, Space Force base um, coming up, which we're going to have a little look at as well. Just looking at the quality of the scenery here. This is this is stunning, isn't it? And it's stuff like that I love to see. So you've got the shadow on the back side of these, uh, these large buildings. Obviously not, uh, not in the sun. So let's follow the highway, it's uh, just here, and that's going to meet us back up with I-95. But you could spend ages, couldn't you? We're obviously we're kind of on a mission here to follow the I-95, but you could spend absolutely ages just buzzing the kind of scenery that we've got down here, because it's so, so detailed. Uh, Mark, yeah, you don't fancy an hour and a half drive after a nine-hour flight. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? That's <laughs> exactly what it was. Oh, there you go, another golf course. And uh, Nicholas, is this custom scenery? No, 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 absolutely not. This is all default. Bing default maps. So 
So Melbourne Square, that is what you're seeing just here, which is just a major retail park by the looks of things. But as you're looking in, everything perfectly in blocks, in lines, you have the major um, highways or avenues, whatever you want to call them, and then you've got little side streets. All looks meticulously planned. Very city skylines. We've also got the Home Depot, even I've heard of that. Uh, Drum away, when I do Route 66 as the next chill series. I didn't want to do Route 66, uh, certainly not for the next uh, next one. I want to come away from the USA, of course. Um, and I didn't want to do Route 66 for this first um, series, just because it was kind of the, the obvious one to do, wasn't it? So I wanted to try and steer, uh, steer a little clear of that. But I'm sure in the future, if... Uh, this continues to be popular. Route 66 will be will be on the agenda at some point. I'm loving that. There's just a random tuft of cloud here. Look at that. <laughs> nice. So we can see Rhodes Park just here and route 66 runs right but uh, sorry route route 66 route 95 i-95 is uh, is the road you can see running right by it so we're going to make a turn and we're going to meet up with it just there really glad the weather's playing ball for us as well today I can hear a jet aircraft in my headphones. I don't know if that's live traffic or uh, or one of you guys flying with us. I mean, that looks great, doesn't it? Look at that. Absolutely stunning. So another big retail park down here. Uh, Jayhawk says, Nick, you <laughs> every time you see a lake, Nick needs to have a drink. He used to drink when we saw churches, when we were further north in the USA. Uh, Graham, good morning from Melbourne. Oh, good Monday morning to you. Um, new to the channel, what is the tape at the top of the screen showing arrival departure information? So that is a streaming overlay from Flight Life Studios. I can't see it. You can't see it in the sim. Only you guys can see that on... Um, on stream. Uh, Carter, you th thought you saw Dark Fury spawning as an F-18. Uh, yeah, that would be true. Oh, Naked HD's back. Hello, HD. Look, is that actually a canal? Do they have canals here down in Florida? That's got to that's got to be man-made, hasn't it? That is so straight. I'm gonna let uh, Nick tattle naked HD. Probably could have phrased that better. So again, another uh, department store down there. And we've got the Eastern Florida State College Palm Bay campus beneath us. So that's what you're seeing down there with outdoor swimming pool as well by the looks of things. Uh, Cheetah, Pat, are we over 50%? Oh, certainly. Bear in mind, this journey, I, I'd love to know the date of the f episode one of this uh, series. Don't know when that was. Uh, 
Uh, LA Kid says there's many canals, many alligators in those canals in Florida. Yeah, I want to steer clear of those for obvious reason. So there's a couple of rest areas coming uh, through now and uh, you can see it is a less built up area that we're now coming through. Rest area beneath us, but you can tell this is decent high level of quality for the satellite imagery just because even the rest areas look to be uh, quite detailed, don't they? Okay, come on, who's in the fighter jet? That doesn't look correct in the slightest. Where's your, <laughs> your propeller seems to have stalled. Whoever that is. It's very flat, isn't it, Florida? I suppose that's why it is marshlands and Everglades. But there doesn't seem to be any sort of relief terrain anywhere. Uh, Mark says you love the warnings on golf courses. Do not attempt to retrieve balls from bushes or lakes due to the risk of your hand getting chewed off. Is that what it actually says? I mean, man, how much must their insurance premiums be? Well, whatever jet fighter I can hear, it must be a stealth fighter because I can't see them. That looks rather random, doesn't it? Do you reckon that road was meant to continue on? Uh, Nick, you expected more uh, more orange groves. Oh. And LA Kiss, just confirming what I said a little bit earlier. Um, interesting fact, Florida has the lowest high point of, uh, of any state. <laughs> the lowest high point. been having a look where we've been going. I'm actually completely lost where we are now, so I'm kind of looking for some landmarks. Uh, for me, it looks like when you don't finish a road in SimCity. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so I can see one of the canals dissecting here, so I'm going to guess... Oh yeah, I know where we are now. I've managed to pick us back up. If anyone wants to join us, there is an airport just off to the left of us now. Sebastian Roseland Municipal Airport. Which is... Uh, it's just there, if you can see that. Yeah, if whoever is in the uh, the fighter jet, you could just turn your engines off for us. That would be grand. I'm starting to get buzzed. There's also a golf course right next to that airport, according to Google Maps.
So the area that you can see over uh, over there is a place called I think it's called Sebastian. As in the crab. And here they're sort of keeping the uh, the I-95 well away from the main uh, the built-up areas, which you can see is obviously over here. More residential than anything else. Uh, Wally, is that where your house is, mate? Are you by the Sebastian Rosalind Municipal Airport? Oh, that's great. Um, Egg Andy, you've had too many beers to come and join uh, us in the air, but enjoying the chilled vibes, washing along and flight planning. Sounds, uh, sounds good to me. That's what Sunday nights are all about. Chilling out and relaxing before work tomorrow. Far more chilled than the real ops flights, that's, uh, that's for sure. We don't care about rules tonight. Genesis thought the first episode was streamed on August the 8th. Really? Wow. So how many months ago is that? August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. We're talking seven months ago since this journey started. Wow. And I think I said early on, during one of those first episodes, how many weeks I expected this to take. And I'm sure I said upwards of uh, around 20. And what was this, episode 16? So we're not far off. Not far off at all. We've got the Vero Lake Estates just at the side of us here. Again, look. Romans would have been proud of uh, the city's architectural planning there, wouldn't they? Now, I don't know if you can tell, but obviously as we've come away from sort of like the major uh, built-up areas that we were in, the quality of the scenery has decayed a little bit in the satellite imagery. I mean, obviously it's not rubbish, not, not by a long way and it beats hands down anything else, simulator-wise. But this is probably the lowest kind of resolution you're, uh, you're probably going to get, which... Well, you'd take that, wouldn't you? You would absolutely take it, because it's... Um, it's fantastic. It really, really is. So again, I'm just looking for any sort of little landmarks that we may have coming up. The next intersection, which you can just see ahead of us now, intersects um, Route 60, I believe that is. And we have the Varro Beach Regional Airport. And if I click on this in Google Maps, is there a Piper? That's where the Piper aircraft uh, incorporated have a uh, well, it almost looks like a shop. Is that actually the home of Piper? That would be amazing. And over to the left, then, the road leads to uh, Vero Beach. Uh, Pabe, you still can't believe the game looks this beautiful. And Farmavius says it makes me want to get back into the sim. I really should make time for it. That's the problem, isn't it, guys? Time. You could spend day after day flying in this. And honestly, I, I would never get bored. Which is why we have so many live streams.
So yeah, there's the junction I alluded to a little bit earlier. We've got the Vero Beach outlets as well, just uh, just here. We're not far away now from Treasure Coast International Airport, a little bit further south. And the Indian River Aerodrome, we should be passing that. In fact, I'm wondering if that's just here. Um, and there's also a, a company called the Plain Marketing Group. With its uh, address at 8525 De Havilland Court. <laughs> Uh, Air Gandhi, if you are a um, middle or higher tier member of the channel, so captain or trainer captain, then if you're on our Discord server, link your Discord with your YouTube uh, account. And in the VIP room, there is the pinned link for the SimSmart software. So, yeah, there you go. We just have a quick look. That is the Indian River Aerodrome, which obviously looks very, um, well, very private. Uh, fun movies, yeah, you can spend days hopping around uh, North America or Europe with the TBM or, or the JF Pipers. Absolutely. Uh, and LA Kids 143, this stream has been an eye opener even for those of us who live in the United States. Well, I can understand that because I don't know everything about the UK, and the UK is so small compared to the USA. Um, so living in the USA, it must be like you, you must discover things about your own country the whole time. That literally is a grass strip, isn't it? Wouldn't be the first time we've uh, landed on a grass strip to finish our, sh finish our streams. The Diamond Drinks Incorporation of Florida. Now, I'm sure I've heard of the Diamond Drinks Corporation, but they have a... Uh, if it is that one, of course. It looks very small, but it, uh, they are down there. The Indian River County Landfill. Well, we don't need to dwell on that too much. Hey, Gandhi, glad we've got you sorted. Now, the little uh, structure you can see coming up here, this triangular structure. Not entirely sure if they're houses, individual buildings or what, but we've got... Um, in fact, I think... I think they are. They are. They are individual houses on uh, on its little estate, the uh, Spanish Lakes. I think it's called. I just thought, where was that jet going? No idea. <laughs> I did see it, and I thought that could be anywhere. Looking at this, we've got some uh, trees, or what look like trees, to be within that um, that pond. Okay, yeah. So what we're going to do is we are going to bear left here on Route Six One Four. That's going to take us out to the coast. And then from there, we are going to finish our stream at the Treasure Coast International Airport and Business Park. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Treasure Coast. So, I think we can actually see it as well, just uh, north of us. There we are. Seems like the scenery textures have uh, been upgraded again, doesn't it? Mark says, note to self, check fuel quantity next time before you start. Oh lord, Mark, what happened? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> are you actually on the I-95 now?
So just south of here is Fort Pierce. So that's where we're uh, finishing our, uh, our leg today. And we've got the uh, city, village, town, whatever you want to call it, of uh, Fort Pierce over there. David, hello mate. We are very well, thank you. A little bit bunged up with a cold of some description. But other than that... I always do like on Google uh, Google Maps just having a look at different companies and things, names. We've got the Roadrunner Travel Resort just, uh, just to the west of the airport. Down at uh, down here. This is a very isolated runway, isn't it? Seems like a very strange addition to the airfield. Uh, David, you're now in the experimental build, are you, of the A32NX with the working VNAV? Fantastic. Uh, well, you've really enjoyed visiting your neighbourhood. Yeah, indeed, this must be. This is indeed your neck of the woods. So, really glad you've enjoyed that, and we've been able to bring it to you tonight. Uh, Farmer must be quite stuffy in the cockpit after an hour flying that little tin can, 26 degrees C outside at the temperature there. Well, you know, if you're uh, a little bit too warm, you just open the door, <laughs> let the let the uh, cold air in at the high altitude. Yeah, so there's our uh, there's our end point, and we've got uh, a host of runways to pick from. That looks like an old abandoned runway as well. Kudos to anyone that wants to uh, land on that one. So if you guys want to be getting yourself down, I'll do a, do a couple of circles. We'll watch you all land. Another golf course just to the north. The Fairwinds Golf Course. I still think it's amazing that every airport in the world has been developed and shown up here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Do you remember when the simulator came out and we all thought, oh my god, how amazing are the default airports? They're so true to life, they're so realistic. And then, of course, months later, handcrafted airports started to come out and it just took things to a whole other level. And I'm now back at the point where I think, oh, default airports, aren't they rubbish? But then I think, well, hang on, no. 18 months ago, they were the bee's knees. We'd never seen anything like this for a default airport. I have to remember, because we quickly forget, don't we, just how good Microsoft Flight Simulator actually is at what it does. I'm seeing there's an aircraft down there. I have got live traffic turned on. There's an aircraft parked up just down there. Is that one of our guys or is that live traffic? A little private jet by the looks of things. If that is a live traffic private jet, then that really is, really, really is good. Look at the shadow of the control tower as well. Just look at this. The shadow of the control tower. It's not a perfect shadow it's blurry at the edges just as you would expect it to be in real life stuff like that because obviously in old simulators you used to have shadows of course you did but it was blurry uh, sorry it wasn't blurry it was you know it was really sharp edges and now obviously you can see as we got closer it tied itself up a little bit but it's not an absolute perfect shadow which is fantastic uh, Farmer viewers, remember Flight Sim 98 when most airports were just a strip of conky and a load of nothing. A little bit of a block building, perhaps, wasn't there? Yeah. Anyone landing on uh, runway 28 right? You've got a hell of a taxi. Right, okay, so let me just get uh, into our uh, cockpit. I think we're going to land on that runway just here. I'm going to spin it around, start losing a bit of altitude. And we'll 
start uh, lining her up. Flying in this part of the world where you've got fantastic scenery and uh, good quality scenery, flying in VFR must be amazing. Right, losing air speed nicely. Let's get some flaps out. I can tell when we're ending the stream and uh, all coming into land because the chat goes quiet. <laughs> Everyone's concentrating on getting down safely. Myself included, of course. Now, we just need to make sure we stay high enough to clear the treetops. Oh, I think a good hot cup of tea is on the cards after this flight when we've landed. Throat starting to feel a little bit sore. Just having a look, we've no pappies or anything like that to go with, so let's uh, keep that touchdown zone in uh, in view if we can. There we go, cleared the trees. Perhaps a bit low on the approach, but never mind. Get off the runway! <laughs> Small corrections and hold us steady. There we go. Oh, I picked the worst runway to land on looking at that uh, windsock. Bit of a crosswind. Uh, Mark, a bottle of beer and peaky blinders for you. Well, that sounds good too. Um, help! <laughs> On tonight's air crash investigation. Yeah, you really can't say anything bad about the default airports when you consider where we've come from. I can understand perhaps how new people to the flight simulator world can uh, can see that Compared to handcrafted airports, these default airports just look shabby and derelict, but if you played any of the previous incarnations of flight simulators, then... Uh, oh, hello. Overtaking, are we? Then uh, you'll appreciate just how far we have come. Right, well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Bus, I'll move out of your way, shall I? I really don't want the fuel truck to slam into me, please. I'd prefer it if uh, we kept our distance with your flammable liquid. We'll, uh, we'll hold that there, I think. Right, let me just set the parking brakes so we're not going to roll away anywhere. There we go. Uh, Patrice says, if you want to see where the Yazoma Studios are, fly over Bordeaux in France and look for a blue balloon under a tower. <laughs> says, here we are. Nice, nice. Uh, Ace Stream, hi mate. Uh, says, well, I enjoyed that. Flew along, but despite appearing to be on the North Europe server, couldn't see any of the other planes, nor could I be seen in the stream. Uh, probably just as well. <laughs> it's strange sometimes, isn't it? I have a few people say have said that in in the past. Not entirely sure what's, uh, what's going on there. Um... But yeah, we were most certainly on the North Europe server, so uh, apologies if uh, if you couldn't see us. We were uh, we were most certainly there. Oh yeah, I've most certainly picked the 
wrong runway to uh, to land on. Looking at that uh, that crosswind, but hey oh, it was uh, it was good fun. How many vehicles? We've got four with trucks. We've got GPUs. We've got fuel trucks, fire trucks. I suppose all the uh, ground staff are now thinking, oh shucks, where have all these uh, <laughs> where have all these aircraft come from? We need to uh, we need to get them out and and, uh, and service them. <sighs> Wonderful. Loving that aircraft, by the way. Whoever chose to fly that tonight. Uh, LA Kids says thank you. Really enjoying the stream. You are uh, you are more than welcome. And uh, oh, oh, what's that? Wonder what that's meant to be. Obviously, not something I've got AIG traffic for. I'm guessing that is a. Uh, I'm guessing that must be a real world uh, real world flight that's meant to have landed here, and we've just got in their way. Never mind. Uh, Simon Kevin says, thank you for a great stream. You are more than welcome. So, guys, if you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like on the uh, the channel. To uh, those of you who have uh, donated, contributed, etc. to the streams I'm keeping during our flight tonight, a very big thank you. It is very much appreciated. It really does help me um, devote time to uh, to doing these flights and uh, the upkeep of the channel. And, of course, to the EasyJet Simpilot channel members, really, really uh, a huge thanks to you guys. And to everyone that in general for helping us surpass... 21,000 subscribers. Who knew we'd be uh, at this point 18 months ago when the channel first started? We will have more live streams this week, of course, as per usual, as we continue to uh, explore the wonder that is the Airbus A32 NX from Fly by Wire. Yeah, the experimental build with working VNAV, so if you're wanting to get a little bit more uh, acquainted with VNAV, then make sure you uh, log on to our, uh, our live streams when we do those. Other than that, I hope all of you had a fantastic weekend. Thank you for coming along with us tonight. I bid you farewell, and I look forward to seeing you all again on the next live flight very soon. Don't forget to join the Discord server as uh, as well. Great community on there. Uh, myself, obviously, as well, included, in case you have any questions. Thanks very much, everyone. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.